Welcome to Refuge Radio. I'm Micah Marshall. This is Ryan Alden, and we are so glad that you're tuning in to our very first podcast. Yeah, we're excited to be here. We're hoping that we're able to learn with you hand in hand, but we can also share some tidbits of information that we've learned as we've gone through youth ministry. Yeah, and so we figured our first podcast, we might want to tell you who we are and why we're doing this, because really, if you don't know us, you're like, why am I going to listen to these two guys? Like, what what do they know about anything? And that's a very good question, because sometimes we don't know a lot about a lot of things. <laughs> That's good. That is, yeah, that's I don't know. Really that's the best good. way I could put it. No, uh, honestly, I think that it's important for us to kind of give you our background because um, we've walked through a, a lot in our lives yeah. in youth ministry. We've come from two different backgrounds. So just to Absolutely. kind of give you an idea of who we are yeah. and where we've been, I, I think it's important that we break this apart. Yeah, yeah. Just so, you know, because some people want to have understanding of like what what makes you like be able to do what you do? Why are you doing this podcast? And so we just want to kind of answer those questions. And so, um, Ryan, I'm going to let you start and kind of just give a little bit of your background. Yeah. I might interject here and there, but um, so just tell us a little bit about your background in working with teens, ministry, all that type of stuff. Yeah. So my role at Refuge, I'm the director of operations. Mm -hmm. I started by going to Messiah College. Shout out to Messiah. I love them. <laughs> and uh, went to school for business, got out of school and quickly learned that that was not the field that I wanted to be in mm -hmm. and got involved in a ministry in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. Yeah. From there, I did program direction. I did some teaching. I did uh, active... I was what we call the active di acting director for a while okay. and then got into a, a little bit deeper role as time went forward where it was like, we need to build a structure attached to our vision. Mm -hmm. And that was something that my background in business helped me build yeah. and grow. Yeah. And during that time in my personal life, my wife and I had two kids back to back. They're 15 months apart and yeah. it was a little crazy for us. Caleb and Nora. Yeah. Shout out to them. <laughs> yeah. My, Caleb is now in kindergarten and Nora's in pre-K. And during that time, my wife said, hey, I'd like to head back to where we had family support. We were living yeah. in Harrisburg area. We didn't have that. And so we moved to Altoona, Pennsylvania. And I just trusted that God would take take care of us yeah. while we came here. And it was a strange journey for me. Struggle bus. <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, ended up being in a place where I didn't know where what was next for me. I knew yeah. I knew that I had a heart for teenagers. I knew that I wanted to help our community. And through that, you and I got connected. Yes, we did. And in, in the parking lot. Yeah. Here. <laughs> yeah. I was I was meeting with somebody else. They said I should meet with you caught you in the parking lot right on the way out the door and said to you, hey, man, I'm going to do something with youth. And you said, cool. And you didn't run away from me. So then we, we, <laughs> we, ended, up, we ended up hanging out with each other, yeah. having some conversations. I know we met at, uh, what was it, Chipotle, right? I think it was Chipotle. We set yeah. up at Chipotle. Love Chipotle. We're, we're looking for sponsors. So yeah, Chipotle. Chipotle. We totally take a sponsorship from Chipotle. Shout um, out. But we, we met, met at Chipotle and you had asked me, you know, all these, all these ideas in your background is really great. But where, where are you plugged in with youth again? Yeah. And so I started coming to Refuge, started seeing what was happening. And my mindset, my, the way that I work is very much, if I believe in the vision, let me help build the structure. And mm. so that's my background. Yeah. I, I've been doing that for, gosh, almost 12 years. Mm. I've been in youth ministry. And God has just kind of taken me from somebody that had a completely different goal in their lives. To be rich was yeah. ultimately, well, yeah. my ultimate goal coming out of, out of college to say that there is value attached to plugging into people and loving on people mm -hmm. and building something that long-term will change lives. Yeah. So that's my background. That's where I come from. Yeah. I, I think it's your turn. Yeah. Right? Well, 12 years. So 12 years, that's like, that is totally veteran status uh, for, for, <laughs> for youth ministry, for those that don't know. But um, so I landed in Altoona. Um, it'll, I'm going on in nine years ago. Um, you know, we landed in Altoona, my wife and I, Bethany, and we were hired on at New Life Worship Center mm -hmm. as the youth pastors. And uh, and Pastor Wayne and Suzanne Schaefer, they did such an amazing job just giving us a shot because I literally had no idea what to do. Like here I am catapulted into this thing and I had I had interned at a church before in London, Kentucky, uh, worked with teenagers there, did some work at my, uh, my dad's church a little bit, helping us volunteer. So we get here and it's like, what is, like, what am I doing? I have no idea. Um, so what we tried to do the best that we could is just uh, preach the preach Jesus, love these kids, 
and um, love who we are around and, and just build and, and help help be part of this community of Altoona. And then, you know, it just accumulated to so much different uh, things, different God ideas, which I'm going to share in another podcast of how we got to where we're at. But like you look in, you know, starting as, as a youth pastor nine years ago in this area and then getting to where we are now with Refuge Youth Network, multiple campuses, multiple staff, um, being able to just provide... Um, wisdom and knowledge to a younger generation of leaders, but also still learning from great mentors and great people that pour into our lives. Um, It's just a crazy journey. And so my background, I was a pastor's kid. I grew up in the church. So the whole church culture thing, I definitely know um, and I'm aware of, but I had so many friends outside that church culture too, which I believe helped really balance balance me in a way. And uh, and when we're dealing with these kids, man, we, we have this blend of church culture. We have this blend of the culture outside the church, and we have this beautiful thing of them coming together to serve Jesus. And so for us, um, I still feel like I'm a rookie. I still feel like <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing now that I'm in 10 years of, uh, of ministry, nine of them here. And we're still trying to figure this out. We're, we're still on this journey. But the cool thing is, is that God allows us to do this. Yeah. Um, and that we that we have such a great team of volunteers, of churches, uh, a board, um, just so many people that believe in the vision and, and the dream of Refuge Youth Network. And... Uh, you know, the whole thing about this is to do what God has called you to do. Yeah. Um, and you and I have talked a lot about this um, personally, about, you know, we, we love what we do. And you need to understand, like, we really do love what we do. And it's not always easy, but it's always worth it. And that's that's the difference maker, and so uh, that's a little bit of our, our of our background. And so, um, what we are going to be planning on doing with this podcast is it's going to be really simple. We're going to talk about youth culture. You're going to do some stuff on leadership. Yeah, I'm going to put a segment together called "Grow, Kill, and Adapt." It's going to be talking about leadership. How do we look at structural elements yeah. and how do we match our vision with our structure? Yeah, and then we're also going to uh, just connect with students, teenagers, leaders, um, have some people in to do podcasts with us and just uh, just expose people's stories of what God is doing. Mm-hmm. That's a simple part of it because God is doing something big in central Pennsylvania and we want people to know about it. We want people to hear the stories, to be inspired. And so that's really what this podcast is going to be about. And then we're also going to share um, what God has laid on our heart, our, our messages, our sermons, our devotionals however you want to look at them, that's what we're going to share. And so I'm, I'm really excited that we're doing this. This was actually a dream long ago when we first started. And it just, I mean, we even made a, I believe we even made a channel on, um, and we, like we did nothing with it. Nothing. So out there floating is probably like Refuge Youth Church somewhere on iTunes or Apple, or it's out there somewhere. Just, if you subscribe to that, like Years ago, just unsubscribe now because obviously we've done nothing. Yeah, with you need it. to subscribe to our new stuff. Yeah, to our new stuff. <laughs> and so uh, we are going to be making that available um, on on any of the platforms, multiple platforms. Um, but you can also connect with us on social media. We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. We're on uh, you know we're on those things under Refuge Youth Network. We are not on Snapchat, and we refuse to be on TikTok. No yeah, matter I'm, what I'm Christian doing... Delosier says, we are not <laughs> TikTok. We are too old for TikTok. Yes. All right, that's not our thing, and so we are not on that. But we will be. We are on Instagram, Facebook, but you can also check us out on our website, yep. refugeyouthnetwork.org. Um, all of our podcast information will be available on there, so we would encourage you to check that out. But real quick, why don't you tell them about what is available on our website as well? Yeah, so we have a uh, section inside our our website called refuge resources if you click that tab there's a few things that you can find there basically what we we've had a lot Mm. of questions about how refuge got started how do we get going how do you guys find your own curriculum what do you do because a lot of the stuff that we create and do here is ours like we just kind of sit around with a team and collectively think about where we're going and what do we really want to put put out for our youth and what is applicable for our 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 three campuses and you know, we sat there for a long time and said, we have so much stuff here. A lot. How do we share it with other people? So a few ways that we did that was one, there's big questions about how do you do youth networking? And yeah. we started, if you can't see this, let me pick this bad boy yeah, up Yeah, pick for that you. up. Show them what that this, is. This guy right here, this is our, our handbook. It's basically our youth networking handbook. It talks about the structure of our background, our history, but also how do we take God's vision yeah. for this community and find a way to build a foundation that helps others then do that in their own community. Absolutely. And again, we'll say this, we'll say this multiple times over. One, we're not experts. Nope. And we don't expect that we're the only ones in the world that can do this. Two, we're learning as we're going. Yes. So 
we're just at a place now where we feel like some of the things that we've been through, we can share with others. Yeah. So you can pick this bad boy up on, underneath our resources tab. Absolutely. As well as a free month of refuge. Yeah. Right? So we were able to put together a free month of refuge. It has our sermon series, games, and it has small group questions. So if you're looking for something, if you're scrambling, if you're a youth pastor and you're like, man, I need something. If you go to our website, you can download a free month of refuge. We will be making more available as time goes on through our refuge resources page on our website. So please check that out, tune into it. And then also we do have through our website, we're connected to our YouTube channel. All of our messages are recorded. They're uploaded on YouTube. Everything that we do is on there. So if you want to catch what we do, our sermon series from what we've been doing over the last couple of years, you can go on uh, Refugee Youth Network on YouTube. Check it out. Um, but before we close this out, I want to say a thanks to Park, uh, Park Home Furniture. They donated all of the furniture for our podcast. And so we want to make sure if you live locally in the area and you're looking for some furniture, Park Home Furniture, they have amazing items. They have amazing prices. So please check them out. Um, but again, thank you for tuning into our podcast. Podcast. And I know I'm excited to move forward and, and do more of these and see what God does. Yeah, I, I can't wait to just be able to kind of share our heart, our yeah. our direction, but also hear from you guys. So make sure that you get get in touch with us. Like I said, you can find us on all those uh, social media platforms. Yeah. And uh, we want to give a special shout out, though. Shout it out. To Troy Ferguson. T. Fergie. He, uh, he helps us out here. He's the one that makes all this happen. We don't know how to run all this stuff. We don't have and, a clue. So we just kind of walk in and he's like, all right, sit down. Yeah. And that's that's perfect for that, us. Yes, yeah. I just uh, need a mic to talk to and that's it. Don't show, I don't know how to hook anything up. Yeah, so, a- absolutely. We, we just sat on his nice couch while he set everything up, uh, else up and it was like, oh, this is perfect. Yeah, this is great. This is the way we so, love to do things. But uh, So thank you, Troy. Thank you, Park Home Furniture. And most importantly, we always want to remind people that no matter what you're doing, no matter what's going on, always love God and love people. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, 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 oh